Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Serious Strategy Game and welcome back to Humankind, where we've just laid siege to the capital of the Mayans. They've got pretty strong walls, so we're going to keep the siege open for now, uh, but let's see whether we can beat them in the uh, longer run. We're also going to send some troops here to the north, see what they've got over there. We have one of their cities, so war support should be taken in our favor anyway, and we are about to build another palace on these little stone, dimensional stones down here. Which I think is kind of fitting, although it's a little bit far from our actual capital. You now have a city of ten territories. That tiny first settlement is nothing but a distant memory. Topkapi has been built, rebuilt and renamed any number of times. It is a testament to stamina and survivability. Excellent. Oh, isn't that lovely? I do like it. It's very, very lovely. I do need to read up on the uh, on the history of that, but of course not now. So Cliff City has just finished that. That is fantastic. That does give us the opportunity to claim another wonder. And indeed, I do think there are some interesting ones over here. So in particular, I mean, money, yeah, sure, nice. Faith, okay. But I mean, look at the faith. Pretty much our continent is dominated by our faith anyway. So I don't think these are the most important ones. But what I do really like is Machu Picchu. All of your other cities gain gain food equal to 50% of the food produced by Manchu Picchu. Now, what I don't know is whether that is actually based on the net production or of the gross production. So, in other words, does that take into account of all of the food eaten by your population uh, or is that just the gross production? If it's the gross production, let's uh, briefly take a look at that. That would be around what, 280 or so. Um, just eyeballing it, uh, 280 on Cliff City, Kratzenberg does have around 150, Napata is currently irrelevant, and then Edgeworth has around 282, I guess, and West Point has, oh, much more, 330, so it would make the most sense to build that in, well, first of all, we do need to claim it, so let's do claim it, and I think I think it would make the most sense in West Point, but the issue is I think it can only be built on mountains and I think that the province of West Point does not actually have any mountains. Yeah, you can see it cannot be built. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but that being said, I think Edgeworth does have some mountains. So we should be able to claim it. Now, that would give us access to everything surrounding it, so do we want to use that out to our advantage. Where would be a location where we could grab some points? There's a little bit of food around over here. Okay, I suppose. It's not fantastic, it's like six food. It's a little bit of industry up here that we currently cannot claim. I mean, there are all of these mountains here, so... I mean, placing it, let's say, up over here would give us access to three more mountains, so that's 12 production. Placing it up here would give us access to all of these mountains, actually, so that would be a fantastic pick. Up over here, that would give us 16... that would give us 20 production, I love it. And I do like it in within this little settlement here. The only question I have is, is the, in the long run, are we going to get much more food from this location. I'm kind of thinking probably not. There's very few food tiles that we haven't exploited. It's a little bit of a oasis there, maybe an oasis here, but that is kind of it. And that's not a fantastic usage, I think. How about on Cliff City? You had similar food production right now. The question is, are we going to get more? Well, there is more food to be had down here. So it might make a little bit more sense to try to place it down there. In the long run, there's probably also going to be a lot of food on Kratzenberg, and I do like the idea of trying to build Kratzenberg into a little bit more. There's a lot of food to be had here. We could be able to build a food triangle there. And your stability is kind of okay, actually. Cliff City, also. Edgeworth, yeah, you're lagging behind a little bit, so actually, you know what? Let's, let's just do place it over here. 
There we go. Done. Good. Yeah, you're building that. Um, question is, do we prioritize that in some other ways? Plus in signs, for you that's not that important, so we're just going to continue doing that. And that should be okay. Right, fantastic. Right, Cliff City, you guys are still doing the science thingies. That's nice too. Uh, by the way, speaking of science, just notice, by the way, in the technology screen, we're currently researching movable typeface on the top uh, quadrant here. Notice how far away we are advancing with that compared to all of the other technologies. So we've alchemy, seafaring, heavy infantry, but all of these thing things down here we haven't gotten, and movable typeface is really a big, big leap here. Now, the question is, what do we want to do after that? And one of the things that I would like to get is patronage, because the luxury manufactory is super nice. Playhouse, not so much, but then again, the Inventor's Workshop, plus 10% science and a little bit more for each star Peter, that is going to be very useful. So the only question is how we're going to get there. We do need centralized power. And for centralized power, we can either go via chivalry or furnace steel. I think both of these are generally useful, but I do like chivalry a little bit more due to the hamlet. So, question is, do we need feudalism first? Well, I do like the food production, so we're going to go into feudalism, then chivalry, then either furnace steel for the little bit of extra in production. I think that's a good idea. Into centralized power, into patronage. So that is going to set us up for a long time here in our technology. Right, what else have we got? We've got idle armies, we've got people who have moved, and um, let's actually start with our uh, shippy over here. Ooh, there's more salt over there. We've got a lot of strategic resources on our own continent though. I'm mostly looking for exotic luxuries here, which uh, we haven't found so far. Right, that being said, we do have our armies here. Let's uh, walk up into the unknown. and see what the Mayans do have in this region. Interestingly enough, ooh, there's a, another special district. Well, we don't see that much, but we do see a little bit. By the way, we still don't know this area there, even though it's part of our actual uh, civilization. Right, at least we are getting some more coastal plains here, so that's good to see. Right, and there it must be a harbour or something over there. Yeah, there is a way. There's a pathway there. West Point, um, could you actually get me another boat while you're at it? Just another cork that we can explore a little bit to the south here too. That uh, would be much appreciated. Well, the alternative is we could do that in Kratzenberg too. Yeah, but you're still a little bit lagging behind and we do need to fill in the infrastructure, so let's not do that for the moment. Right, you guys are building that, that's fine. Let's keep on exploring here. Hmm, interesting. Right, you guys are fine over here. We've got the siege going. We've got a single siege battering ram. They've lost a peasant, I think. They're not going to lose that many because they do have the Colossus of Rhodos, which does prevent them from losing stuff. How's your war support looking? You. Low, but uh, not too bad. You're doing fine down there. Flip City, what are you doing? Okay, you're going to build the Apocathy. That's okay. I think after that we want you to contribute to the Machu Picchu. That's gonna be nice. Good. Alarmis? Um, yeah. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop it. Don't go down there. Don't don't leave the coastal tiles if you if you can help it. Right, let's check out on the on this area up here. Okay, nothing much to see here. Do they even exploit that? Just a bit of food. Hmm. Not the most important then. Right, let's continue this way. Improve the siege and I think we're going to join the siege here in a moment. And that should hopefully uh, kill off the these guys there. Right, oh, can you move further? Yeah, you can. Okay, and turn. Is that a river up here? 
No, that's just the... That's just telling us that you're gonna reinforce. That's okay. But you are down there, so you're completely different. Okay, but you can merge there. Okay, that's nice. Good, okay, that does allow us to assault for sure. But we've got the heresy of science. Are we mere animals? Word spreads that natural philosophers are conceiving theories regarding the providence of life itself. To imagine that man and beast might have shared common ancestors would be an affront to many and cause a revolution in the way the people view themselves. So, notice, it's 300 uh, after Christ, if you want, but um, we've got this. So, we can embrace that or we can forbid it. Now, I think we're going to embrace that. It's going to move us a little bit more towards knowledge, which I think is fine. And... Can I actually check on this? So... Ah, I see, because we kept that open. Okay, but that's okay. Do we now, at least, do we pay for the... Reaching the end of a no. axis isn't extremist. Okay, Even interesting. Right, and then we've got the Alamis. Uh, you guys do get down. What are the Alamis do we have? You guys up here? Okay, let's uh, continue to sail around. At least we might explore this <laughs> from sea then. Uh, you guys are fine for now. I don't want you to cross that chasm Don't if, if we can help it. And yeah, let's open this battle here because we've got enough, I think. So yeah, let's do assault. Of course, we're going to do that as a manual battle because I don't trust the AI at all. Well, we don't need for your confirmation. You're not going to give up the siege. Right, there we go. Okay, so I have no idea how these things do work. They can only be constructed during a siege. Cannot enter city tiles or retaliate when attacked by close combat, but they can attack walls. So I suspect that your job is going to be to try to attack the wall and tear it down in some way. Well, that's set. Um, we've got these guys now. They don't have the indirect fire ability, which is slightly annoying. So hopefully we're going to be all right this way. Let's see. We're going to end the deployment. Then let's see, can I attack the fortification? Yeah, you would be attacking the fortification itself, right? Does it look damaged? It does look a little bit damaged. It does look damaged on the entire tile there, okay. Right, can you fire? No, because it's outside the range of view. Fine, so their target is there, so their, their bonus thingy. Well, I'm guessing you can't get down here. No, but so we'll we'll flank around there. You can't get down there at all. Hmm. Concerning. Right. You can scale these walls though. So let's come in behind them there. Then we're gonna have you walk over there. Can't do that. Ha. Huh. You could attack, but that's not necessarily a great idea. So let's walk you over here. You guys are gonna come down there then. Gonna have the archers stand up here on the hill, shoot into the city. Crossbowmen, I should actually say. And then we can flank you from behind. Nice. Good attack there, obviously. We could try to scale some walls there, but I'm not convinced that that is gonna work out. Ah, you can't attack at all if, if there's no one. You can't attack the walls themselves. That's an interesting choice. Okay, can you attack? Why can't you attack? I would think that there's a direct line of sight there. You're all standing on top of this after all. Right, okay. Uh, let's uh, scale the walls. Attack you just within the city. Yeah, you're going to lose a lot there. It's fine. Can move up there and then potentially can attack you like this, right? Yeah, that's, that's a little bit weird. Right, that said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to attack you behind these walls. Yeah, you can not scale these walls. That's still fine. Let's do spawn in some reinforcements here. Yeah, I think some... Some of you guys would be fine. You're walking over there. That's okay. And then I think just normal units are fine here. We're going to try to attack across the wall. Yeah, that doesn't go that well. Uh, but it's still overall okay-ish. 
Right, further archers. Um, no, I don't think we need to move you up in any way. We can't shoot anyone. So let's end our turn. They're going to do a couple of things here. Going to attack the siege engines. Going to attack the wounded guys there. And some people here who have made it into the wall, into the walls themselves. So that's okay. Right, that being said, you can shoot. So you are going to shoot. Both of you guys should be able to scale these walls, but I think over here it's going to be a little bit nicer. Finish them off. Yeah, that's good. And then you guys over here can actually get into the city, onto the tile itself. That should be helpful. You could shoot down there, but it's not really going to give us anything. Right, let's move here and then, okay, yeah, you can shoot. Nice. You guys can hopefully finish them off. And you guys attack them. Nice. Ah, belly, belly. I think we could have gotten them. Right, let's try to get some XP here. Hmm, I think that's it. They're gonna suicide. Don't care about the siege engines there. That's it? No, not yet. There we go. We did lose two units, but we did get another military star here. Lovely. Good, that does mean we're now occupying that city, and that should mean that their war support should dwindle. Yeah. Lack of capital, two cities occupied, low stability. They are suffering. They're suffering pretty badly. What's up with you guys? You're feeling needing? Offering some trade or something? No, you're just saying hi, are you? Yeah, you are. Fine. I generally do like the English, but... Let's see. Right, you guys are both constructing? No, just one of you is contributing to that. Now it's two. That does uh, turn that down to three, so that's great. Notice, by the way, that was at 11 turns, and Cliff City is great. But due to the fact that we have got this wonder, all of the other wonders are going to be so much easier. The Huns are continuing into the Mongols, and honestly, I think that is going to be a fun thing to try out at some point, too. But that's fine. Some Rebellion, some Osmosis event. Up here. Religious rites. Unlocked. No, no, no. I do not want to change that. Let's refuse that. We acknowledge that. Close to a victory. Their war support has dwindled to zero. So that's nice. And we are selling some resources to you. That's cool. Nice. I like it. Good, so that does mean I think we are... Yeah, their war support has instantly dropped to zero, actually, so that's lovely. Our war support is at 100, so that's great. So we can claim a city, but not much more. So, oh, we're also going to get paid a lot of money. Are we actually going to be receiving that? Okay, we not unlock... Unselect them. I do not want the money, I want this city. I would like this city more, but... We might have to contend with Napata. At least I would love to get Napata. Yeah, we can. Oh, we are, we're having 210. So you can actually give us both cities. That is lovely. These are two extremely sprawling cities. Oh, I would love that. And we are removing them from the game by that, effectively at least. Okay, we can't get that. We could otherwise ask them to become vassals. No, no, no. I can tell you that our gratitude is boundless. No, no, no. We are going to get all of that. Ah, oh, lovely. That does tank our stability and everything, but we've got so much new area up here. Oh, fantastic. Question is, how are we going to set that up? So, in particular, I think we now have the pyramids, which does give us... I think it does give us a boost to every other construction. And are you just mad science-based? Wow! Look at that! I did not realize 
that these guys were such science freaks. And I think that's fantastic because we have got a couple of things, or we're going to discover at some point a couple of things that do give adjacency bonuses to. That is a mad science city. What on earth were you thinking? And a relatively weird commons quarter. Pyramids. What's that? That's a maker's quarter. That's mad. Mad. Why were they building that? I've got a little bit of a waterfall situation going on here. But it's not much water. Well, they are building this up as a city. Which hopefully we can destroy at some point and attach to this. Now I know there are some technologies which do allow you to grab other cities or merge cities, right? So, which one was that? Absorb city. It's military architecture. Okay, so in that case, let's do quee that up. Yeah, that is going to take three turns, but then we can merge these two cities into one because I think that's going to be better. And afterwards, we're going to go uh, with what, whatever we planned here. Furnace deal, centralized power, into patronage. Nice. Okay, good. That's mad. That's that's a mad city up there. How about down here? That's also a lot of signs. A garrison? It's a maker's quarter? A farmer's quarter? That's a weird, weird setup. Well, your stability, at least your stability is, is tending towards a fairly high number there. But industry should be our main, main concern here. Right, that's so much. Do you even have any production? Plus 10% science. I mean, you must be making mad signs. That is certainly a good, good thing. Artisan workshops, more industry per worker. So you're going to clearly be focused really on signs. But you're pretty much out of space. Right, we can attach these various areas here. It's going to reduce stability, but I think it's not going to instantly reduce that stability. But only over time. Yeah, okay, so now we're get looking at 95. You do have more areas here now. Which we will be able to exploit with some industry and stuff. Because I really don't think there's anything to be gained up there. Then we're going to merge that city into U2, which is going to probably be kind of costly, but still that should be okay. Right, so what else then? We've got a lot of black soil, we've got a bit of dry grass and stuff. Your food situation is still fine. Pro probably going to build something over there. There's a lot of stones and stuff down here. Yeah, I think this might be a good industrial area here. Which does more focus on stonework, so we're going to use stoneworks. And industry and river, there's not that much that we are currently exploiting. Only these six tiles or so that up there. Even you don't have a river, at least none that I can tell. As far as I can tell. So yeah, you're going to be alright doing that. And then, yeah, really I do think we should focus on the signs. Just flat out signs probably going to be the best here. And what we're going to do is... Ooh, we cannot do this. Cannot be done. Locked. Three to five turns. Are you currently doing that already? Yeah, I think you're actually doing that. So all of our stuff is flowing into industry. Which is fine. We do need to catch up on industry. But that is mad. That is a mad amount of signs. Now, Napata, you ultimately honestly will be merged. So I don't think it's that useful to build you up except if we do find that there's a good area here that we have in some way not exploited and we should doesn't look like that to me though pretty much all of the southern area here has been exploited and we just need to make our way north is that what is that an artisan quarter here this is such a narrow valley here that i don't think it's going to be useful to try to exploit that 
maybe at the end of the day some some industry here might also be useful but no 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 I think we should start focusing on there so that does mean you are kind of fine as you are do you want to research anything or do we want to build some units here honestly I think two pikemen might not be the worst thing to for you to to produce and afterwards yeah it's, it's probably gonna be districts isn't it so simply more of this could be useful yeah let's do try to build up some stability we're gonna actually prioritize that and then you can build the other stuff good okay uh, will you accept this offer what are you proposing trading luxuries um honestly no nope. no 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 you're not gonna you're not get anything from us yeah you do have incense that's lovely but we are not gonna sell anything to you well, you guys, you've got just finished the Apocathy, so that's lovely. More stability, that's always nice. Um, we're not particularly keen on signs down here. But next turn, we will get movable typeface. Which is still a very good thing, I think. We don't have an enormous amount of food. So, let's do build up the fishery. I think some walls might be nice. In the long run down here. We've got a good number of industries here. We should potentially build up this area up here, right? So what happens if we do build an industrial zone right here? Plus 18. Not as much as I would have hoped. Can we... No, we could detach that, but I would like to move it potentially. There's a lot of farmland down here, and there's some farmland up here. All in all, you seem to be fine, though. Well, we can build one over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. That is going to be the highest priority. And then what else? Yeah, let's get some money. I think the artificial reservoirs are going to be nice because Spitcher does have some, some stuff there. And yeah, we're just going to produce some money here in Kranzberg. Seems fine to me. Right, more idle armies. Okay, so our armies right now um, should potentially just regroup. Yeah, get get down here. Get down here, everyone. Do heal up. And then you're going to be alright down there. Right, there we go. Fantastic, that's it, all of you. Um, you just wait. The shippy can move to the south. Continue along the sea there. Uh, cannot be done as that would be tantamount to declaring war. Well, can I move into my own territory then, please? Just check out what's going on here. Okay. Fine. Right. Let's see. I think I think we're going to get Machu Picchu. And we should actually check. So... Cliff City right now has 14 food. You guys are producing 300. So, yeah, let's let's just take a look at that. That's uh, 310 or so. No, 320 food being produced and 45 access food. So let's see what, what Monte Picchu actually does give us um, in a moment. Right, ooh, another area star unlocked yet yeah, because we've got so many people. Available to a small, often wealthy elite. Now, knowledge and propaganda can be distributed to the masses. Mass dissemination. But will it be of information or of propaganda? Amazing. Just look at how much how many error points we're earning here. here. That is fantastic. We are selling some resources to you. I mean what? I, I'm not particularly keen on coffee, but let's do buy it because I think we have some go the gold and I do like the stability and I do like the fact that if we are a little bit more connected, especially since you are potentially the best uh, hedge that we have against the other guys there. Science Moses. Ooh, we can now unlock that or we can boost the research. What does that mean? You'll earn an instantly boost. Feudalism or we can unlock that for 3,000. We're going to unlock that for sure, because that does give us access to the colony model. Nice. And the crop rotation. 
Yeah, we did want that anyway. Nice. Very, very good. How are we actually looking in our culture? I think pretty much everything here should be dominated by us on this entire continent. And indeed it is. Right, so you're going to finish the Manchu picture. That's okay. But then I definitely want you to go into these things here. So what's better? Either two more signs per researcher. That just gives 24. Or signs per research quarter and on research quarters. Now we have got a couple of these. At least these four. So that's at least 12 plus adjacency bonuses. How many is that? That is 3, 6, 8... It's probably going to be about the same, so let's not worry about that too much. We're going to get both of these things. They are going to be huge. They're going to boost our signs a lot. So that's nice. Good. How about Cliff City? We're not really looking for that. But in Machu Picchu, sorry, in West Point, yeah, you're building that. After that, do get me both of these things here. Lovely. I like it. That's a lot of signs. And then in Kerma, you're going to be doing the same thing. Oh, we do have an interesting civic over here. Okay, let's look at the details of that. Influence on maker's quarter? Or influence on market quarter? I like the idea of influence on maker quarters. We've got 2,000 and we're currently earning 600. Nearly 600. Let's check that out. So 600, how much does that give us? If art is to speak and show the truth, you can't gag 50. That's, that's a huge boost. Great, I like it. You guys are continuing to build that. That is lovely indeed. And for you, for sure, signs, boosts on research quarters and adjacent research quarters. Let's look at that. 807. Can we buy that out? No, we can't. But it's going to be huge, isn't it? That's going to be super huge. 807. Lovely. Good. Um, you know, you guys just everyone everyone wait a couple of turns here, please. You are sailing to the south. Lovely. Let's do it. I'm very interested in these little islands down there too. Although probably other people have found them by now already. Okay. Up here. Hmm, nothing much to see. Anyone else moving? Nope. Okay, but you know what? I think that is going to be have that is going to be a place where we put in a cut. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and let's see our signs go through the roof. It's just amazing. One thousand signs per turn. We're really, really catching up now. And look at that. We are already at four, we are already at five out of seven stars. So we are almost ready again to advance to the next era from the early modern era into the next and just everyone else is so far behind us it's it's funny yeah look at that signs we're gonna get one star here next turn and i think we're gonna get some others too so yeah fantastic thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed do leave a like and i'll see you around next time bye bye